Now, let us quickly understand what are the ways to construct a CPI. Now, see, when it comes to consumer price index, the first method we have is aggregative expenditure method. See, this method is very similar to last price method which we learnt earlier. So, CPI is summation of P1, Q0 divided by P, summation of P0 into Q0 multiplied by 100. Okay. So, let's do a problem on that. So, this is the question which is being given to us. We have been given the commodity, the price in the base year, the quantity in the base year, the current year price and the quantity in the current year. Okay. Now, we will convert it into this table wherein two additional columns would be P1, Q0 that is price of the current year multiplied by the quantity of the base year and P0, Q0. Once you have done that, we will find out the summation of both these columns and my CPI would be summation of P1 into Q0 divided by P0 into Q0. Okay, so that would come to 250 divided by 194 multiplied by 100. So I'll get around 128.87. That is my CPI. So now, based on this problem, we'll calculate the CPI using family budget method. So the table will look like this. So we would be having the price in the current year we would have the price in the base year so p0 p1 we will find out the i which is p1 divided by p0 into 100 that's your 280 divided by 200 into 100 so i'll get i i'll multiply this i with the weights i'll get iw which is equal to 15800 weights are 100 so it would come to 158 that is my CPI okay so this is how CPI is calculated using family budget